What's good everybody, it's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys a couple of tips and tricks when recording inside of FL Studio. A lot of people been asking me how to do certain things inside FL Studio when it comes to recording audio. So hopefully this video can help you guys out. Plus I got a lot of artists who actually record inside FL Studio, some I'm working with, some I'm not. And they just want a little help in getting the best possible sound or best possible takes inside of Studio. Yeah, I say Studio One, FL Studio, and you know, just kind of help you guys out to make sure you get the cleanest possible signal you possibly can in here. So before we get into you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and SoundCloud, Mr. Different TV. Also subscribe to the channel. Try to hit 100K this year. I don't know. Can we get it? I'm already at 60. Thanks to you guys. Appreciate you a lot. But can we get 100? Let's just see what we can do. So let's jump inside of FL Studio and take a look at some of these tips and tricks. So here we are inside of FL Studio. Now I am I am using the latest version of 20 point, whatever the latest version is. I can't remember. I don't know if they did another update recently, whatever. But this is the latest version that they had. I know they got another version coming out real soon, but this is so far the latest current version right now. But any version now, I think 12.5 and up, you should be straight with this. I know 20 has a couple extra little features, so some of these features might be only in 20. So just keep that in mind as I'm going through. So there's a few little changes that they made inside of FF20 that makes recording a whole lot easier and a whole lot more, I would say, powerful or and more useful in a bunch of case scenarios so the first thing that i realized i'm gonna have my mixer channel right here just kind of show you the first thing that i really like about fl studio and how you can record in it now is that you can actually assign these tracks right here to a channel right from the get-go without having to go in here and fill around and do all kind of stuff all you have to do is right click on whatever track you want to use you go to track mode you go to assign and i can assign it to insert number two and if i go to insert number two now boom it's already assigned to it i can change the name of course and all that so i can actually rename it so we'll just say where's the rename rename we'll just say vocals and it should change here yep it changed right there because it's been assigned to it and it's locked to it and you know that's a dope way of you know just kind of locking stuff to a certain channel and it makes it kind of a the more traditional linear way sort of kind of and it makes it way better than having to use edison and all that extra stuff that you don't want to do so that's one dope thing right there now i'm about to switch to the audio inside of studio fl studio real quick to kind of demonstrate the next tips right now a lot of people are asking me how do you for one actually add a channel or add a track or add a microphone to an actual channel and also how to disable and enable direct monitor because by default uh, fl studio automatically does direct monitoring and a lot of people don't want to hit yourself back while they're recording i'm gonna show you guys how to turn it on and off automatically because you've got some latency or whatever like that you know you can fix that problem so first i want to add me a actual vocal into it so i'm just going to go ahead and first mute my main microphone on my discord Boom, and I'm gonna switch over to the FS Studio channel. The studio, I should be coming in pretty good. So as you saw, the way that I did that, let me bring myself down a little bit. The way that I actually added a channel is I just went to the right here and I just selected from my first microphone because my microphone is plugged up into the first channel. That's how you enable, you know, a microphone or whatever inside of FS Studio to start recording. Since it's already a um, like locked to this track right here, it's gonna automatically record to that track. It's gonna be a nice fluid type of movement and it's gonna make everything a whole lot easier and better in the long run. So how do, now right now I'm able to hear myself back. Now that's cool because I got a Thunderbolt interface so I can hear myself with no latency, it's spot on. But say you got a little bit of delay and echo when you're hearing yourself back, how do I turn it off? And it's very easy. I'm gonna turn it off and you're not gonna hear me no more when I do it. So I'm about to just go right here to the, if I click on the channel I want, so whatever channel I want, go to the master fader right here under the master fader and just click that little arrow and it's gonna turn it off. So now you shouldn't be able to hear me in three, two, one. So as you see, you didn't hear nothing because the direct monitor is off. Like I said, that's how you turn off direct monitoring. If you are having issues with latency and all that, and you don't, some people just don't want to hear their voice back while they're recording, but it's really good if you know you want to just turn it off or turn it back on. That's how you do it. Just link it to the master channel, and that's all there is to it right there. Very simple, very easy. Now, another really dope thing that they think they only added to version 20 i think is recording with and without plugins post and pre now what does that mean of course fs studio 12 and below was always pre-recording meaning if you record it with actual plugins on your channel it would not actually record the plugins or print it to the track so you would have to link it back up to the track to get the effects to go but say you want to record with plugins like a compressor eq delay auto tune whatever you want to do and you want to 
just consolidate that or print that on there and so you don't have to affect again so your cpu is not strong enough to handle all these effects then you can do that now all you gotta do is go right here and change it to post now post means it will record with the plugin so i'm gonna give you an example of pre and post so you see so let's go ahead and put on an effect that i know is gonna be obvious to everybody so i'm gonna put on ott because it's gonna be obvious that i use ott so here it is and as you can hear, here's OTT, and I sound like I'm super hyper compressed, but it's gonna be a good example so you guys can really, ooh, excuse me, you can really hear what it sounds like. So I'm gonna record pre right now, and you're gonna see, even though I record pre, it's not gonna save the preset or the plugin on it. So for example, here we go. Yo, yo, it's your boy Slant, AKA on the microphone, about to rip it. Y'all already know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't rapping this time, just talking some shit. Yeah, 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 <laughs> let's go. All right, so, all right, let's go and turn it off now when i press play it should since i had it set to pre it should not have recorded the effect onto the channel so it should be still just a regular dry signal yo yo it's your boy slant aka on the microphone about to rip it y'all already know what it is yeah yeah so if i wanted that vocal to actually you know i have to link it back to the channel but since i got it impended to here i ain't got to worry about nothing straight so now let's switch that over to post recording and we're just going to delete this one now when i record with the effect on you're going to be it's going to still be on there no matter what and i'm going to tell you why that's a good idea and why that can be very helpful in the end so let's go ahead and turn it back on yeah 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 let's do it once again, back on the microphone, you can tell, yeah, I got this OTT on, I think it's dope. I'm telling you, it's a hidden gem, it's free too, so you need to go ahead and download so you can use it. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. So now, once again, I recorded, but I had it set to post this time. Now, even though I got the OTT turned off, the OTT preset or the OTT, the OTT, the OTT effect is still printed onto the audio file. Hotel. Once again, back on the microphone, you can tell, yeah, I got this OTT on, I think it's dope. I'm telling you, so See, there you go. Now, why is that a good idea? For a couple of reasons. Say you are sending tracks or stems or whatever, and you mix it yourself, and you're happy with the way it is, and you want to save or consolidate your plugins or whatever like that. You can record through your plugins that you always use and send them off, and boom, there you go. You got your vocal sound cool and dandy like that. Or say, you, like I said, your computer can't handle all these plugins being played at once. Record with the plugins you know you always use. Like maybe you use a, a EQ to cut the lows. Maybe you use a compressor just to kind of tame it, stuff like that. Maybe you use a little bit of this to kind of get a sound. Go ahead record with those plugins printed on there that way they're already saying and then delete them that way you can save up memory and all that you can add your reverse your effect your delays and all that good kind of stuff like that so that's a very good thing and a very good i would say tool to use i'm glad to add it to fl studio because a lot of other daw do it as well which i have a video coming out showing how to do it inside of studio one which is a lot easier in studio one than this one and get a lot better results but the fact that they offered it inside of fl studio is very dope and very useful and i do like that and one more thing i want to show you guys it's not really a big bright not really cool flashy thing but just where your audio saves for example so if you are recording inside of fl studio you want to go to files right and when you first open your track, I would suggest going ahead and saving it and saving it to a file. Just go ahead and do that, save it, and then save it to a file. And then what you want to do is you want to go to um, project right here. And then you want to go right here where it says data folder and hit auto. Now, what that's going to do is when every time you record something, it's going to save it to the exact same place the FLP is. I would highly recommend when you first start a track up to go ahead and just save, save it somewhere, put it in a folder, save it, save the FLP, and then go to file project and then hit auto. And that way it will automatically take all this extra recording and put it inside the same folder next to the FLP. If you don't do that, it's going to record to your desktop or something like that or somewhere random and you're not going to find the files and all that this is a way to keep everything nice and clean and consistent all daws do this fs studio still doesn't do it by itself by default which i wish it, i really wish it really did but that's one way to do it all you need to go to options go to uh project and then at, after you save now and just hit auto or you can tell the say if you got a specific place for your recordings you can do that as well by just hoping this up so that's another tip for recording and just kind of keep all this stuff organized so when you do delete it all and all that good stuff or you lose some tracks you know exactly where to find them at so let me switch back to my main mic real quick so here we are once again back and yeah those are just a few little tips that i wanted to give you guys inside of fs studio hopefully these tips will help you guys out and get you some good recordings and so if you do record inside of fs studio these tips will help you out 
So yeah, that's all I really gotta say about that. Nothing much more to say. If you got any more questions, you got any more uh, questions that you wanna ask me, leave it in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as best as possible I can and try to just help you guys out in the end because that's what I do. Y'all know me, it's the boy Slim McAlvin. So y'all know what it is. It's your boy Slim, aka Miss Different, not motivated by the money, but the like, subscribe, and views. And with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Thumb up if you like the video, thumb it down if you're a hater, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.